and Star and Me. Then I drew the Rainbow Tattoo Studio and the Victoria Arms and the Night Birds Club. I did them in the middle, all clamped together, then round the edges. I drew London and the seaside and the stars at night. My piece of paper was getting seriously crowded by this time, but I managed to cram in a CD player with lots of Emerald City CDs and some high heels, a bikini and jeans and different coloured tight tops and lots of rings and bangs and earrings. I expect you'd like a bone on your birthday card, wouldn't you? <laughs> I was getting a bit stuck for ideas by this time and I'd rubbed out so often that the page was getting furry, so I gave up and coloured it in. I wanted to do a pattern of marigolds as a border, but Star had used up the orange already, you know. So I turned the marigolds into roses and coloured them crimson. That's your favourite colour too, isn't it, crimson? <laughs> Red roses signify love. Have you seen my iPod? For you. Mum. No. Then on the way back, ooh, Marigold was very into symbols, so I hoped she'd understand. Then on the back, I did a great garland of red roses to signify a whole bunch of love and signed my name. We gave her presents too. Star found a remixed version of Emerald City's Greatest Hits for only £2 at the Saturday morning market. You feeling sleepy yet? 